Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in Mad Cafe, Don Antonio branch, to do a quick review on this Harry Potter themed cafe. And we will definitely do reviews for the other branches as well. So as you can see in their website, um, they have five listed branches. It hasn't been updated yet because they do have one more that just recently opened last March 24. So this one in Congressional is an Alice in Wonderland theme. This one in SM Kubao is a Beauty and the Beast theme. The one in SM Fairview is a Peter Pan theme. The one in SM South Mall is a Lion King theme. And the one not yet listed, you can see in their Facebook page, is in SM City Grand Central and it's a Toy Story theme. So yeah, we're here in Don Antonio branch because I'm a big Harry Potter fan myself. As you look at the screenshots, you can see the Hogwarts acceptance letters hanging from the ceiling. And there's a platform 9 and 3 quarters sign on the pillar. This play place, you can see it's supposed to resemble Hogwarts. And this part of the area is supposed to resemble the Quidditch pitch. And these booths are supposed to represent the four houses of Hogwarts. Then you can see in the wall is the Hogwarts crest. So yeah, I was pretty excited to go in and try it. I think I was more excited than Gav. But going in, it looked looked a bit different. Too different. So that was a bummer. As you can see in the screenshot, in the wall, the Hogwarts crest is gone. And in the top wall over there, you can see the two brooms is not there anymore. And the play place, there is still a painting of the Patronus right there. But the castle itself, it's been repainted and it looks totally different. So yeah, I did ask the manager what happened. And from what he said, they changed it because it was too dark. I'm not sure what that means. Me and Sam thought it could be a copyright issue. The manager also told us that there used to be a Hogwarts Express train on the other play place. As you can see in the screenshot, it's right there. But as you can see in our video, it's been totally changed to a regular play place. We went ahead and checked the menu, and I think all menus and all branches are pretty much the same except for their branch drinks, which differ according to their theme. It shows the branch concept which is supposed to resemble Hogwarts. The Hogwarts branch drinks is the Butterbeer Frap and the Wizard's Brew Frap. So we ordered both of them to try it out. So for the Wizard's Brew Frap, it's basically a matcha frap with strawberry sauce in it. And for the Butterbeer Frap, in our honest review, it tasted like a cinnamon roll. So I've tasted the butter beer in uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in the Universal Studios Hollywood and they don't taste the same at all. So if you guys are looking for one that tastes very similar, I suggest you guys go to an SNR, in our case SNR Fairview, and go to the aisle where they sell the imported drinks and find something that's called the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer which costs 299 pesos for 4 bottles and yes, they are non-alcoholic and they taste very similar to the one in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter so if you guys like this content, please like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified Laters